we invite you to drop by our concession stand where we have all your movie snacking needs. YDZ kindly asks you to be courteous and to silence your cell phones. Welcome to the YDZ Theater. Your feature presentation will begin now. Us, we better be on the move. His martial arts are as fast as lightning. He's menacing. He's got a lot of weight. I'm afraid if we see him, we might have to engage in hand to hand combat. I don't know if we'll come up on top. That's exactly what we want. And if he does, we'll make a fool out of him. The more attention, the better. Where are they? Supposed to be here. Yeah, where's the truck? Uh, oh, this is gonna happen. Everybody, where just be quiet. I gotta think. Are you guys out for a midnight stroll? Uh. Hey, Silver Knight. Exactly the man we were looking for. Does anybody have any bullets left? Well, this is gonna be interesting. Put your guns away unless you're gonna use it. Silver Knight, Starry Knight. We're gonna let you live after this beating so that you will remember that the city is not yours. Looks like you boys rocked the wrong bank. I want you. What are you gonna do? You're warning me? I'm warning you! We're not giving ourselves so easy! 
scared now, huh? I thought so. I thought so. Yeah, so Move, Blake! Oh, I'm never gonna hear the end of this. I told him to move. Ah, he's on the roof. They stopped us. They're fighting the us. Ah! Come on! Blakely with Unit no. 5 and 6. Blakely, Unit 34 is down. We need to go. Let's move, guys. Follow me. Once we hit State Streets, things might get dicey. Silver Knight. We are incurring a lot of damage. I don't even know if we are making him look bad while he's doing that. It's okay. We have anticipated the fact that he would interfere. Though you didn't stop him, you still caused a lot of destruction while he was present. This is all a part of the plan. Okay, buddy. Think it's time. Time to get you in the field. I won't disappoint.
tonight. This is all a ruse, and you're part of the game show, but you don't know it yet. You will. Let's get it! Get around him! Circle up! Come on, you like I don't know which we finished you off, because we're about to tear you up! Welcome back, Master Barkley. I've taken the liberty of communicating to the FBI who called not too long ago. They would like to meet with you to discuss the events that took place tonight. Are they here already? No, sir. They will be coming shortly. How much longer must you do this, Master Barkley? Until my dying breath, I want to provide the safety my family was never granted, and I feel like what I did last night was justified being that it was my bank that was robbed. But Master Barkley, you are only but a human. There's only so much one man can do. You could have left it to the authorities. Fred, I have no limitations. I feel no pain. Pain left me when my mother was killed in cold blood, and I did leave it to the authorities. It just took one wrong turn, and they were either knocked out or dead. Master Barkley... You have to be reasonable with yourself. Those cops helped out slowing the crooks down, and as for your mother, there is nothing you can do to bring her back. Is this the way your parents wanted you to live? Constantly taking down bad guys and covering your tracks. I don't have to cover my tracks if I never leave them. Hello. Good morning, my name is Mindy and my partner is Niona. We are with the Los Occipital Detective Agency. We were wondering if we could have a moment to sit with Bruce to talk about the incident that occurred last night. Oh yes, you can go right ahead. 
Thank you. Come on, let's go. Master Barkley, you are smarter than us. I know what I am doing. Hello, Mr. Barkley. My name is Mindy, and my partner is Leona. We are working with the Los Obsipiroi Detective Agency. Welcome, Detective Mindy and Detective Leona. How may I help you two today? Well, first, we would like to express how sorry we are to hear about this tragic event. We are hoping to sit down and talk with you about the incident. Well, what would you like to know? Were there any individuals that you know that would want to steal from you? Yeah, like any workers, maybe even close friends? No, I do not know anyone who would be crazy enough to steal from my bank, but I guess now I do. So you can't think of anyone? No employees? I only have a few employees. For the most part, I have more artificial intelligence than I do human workers. Hmm, we will need at least the name of a possible suspect for this investigation to go more smoothly. Tell you what, as soon as I get more information on some possible leads, I will make sure to let you know. This city is corrupt as it is, so finding the criminal organization that was part of this would be kind of tough. I am assuming that the criminals who were caught last night aren't speaking as for who they work for. Well, no. The ones who are alive, that is. Which bring us to the next question. Though the Silver Knight might have good intentions to intervene, he caused the robbery to transition into the streets, which caused casualties and injuries. Do you know or have you talked with the Silver Knight in the past five days? Or do you know anyone who has talked with the Silver Knight? We're trying to get in touch with him, but we cannot track him down. I have not talked with him in the past few days. He seems to be a very busy man, but I am glad to know that someone is effectively protecting the city at least. He isn't protecting the city. He is abetting it and destroying it. The police might think otherwise, but in our agency, he is a criminal. Thank you for your time, detectives. If I can do anything else for you, give me a call. Have a nice day. Hello, this is Valor. I'm sending out this transmission to all EOCryptans that are still alive. I am here on Earth to protect it from Zane's control. Zane wants to rid the Earth of all existence so that he and those who follow him can reap its benefits. We as EOCryptans will never brought up to decimate planets for our own wants and wills. We were brought up knowing peace and prosperity. That is what I am here to fight for. These people have every right to freedom, as well as us. So I am here to tell you, live long and prosper, and do not follow the ways of Zane. If you never hear from me again, I want you to keep the fight. Fight for these beings. Fight for what is right, and take down Zane's control. We are you cryptids. Let's keep the peace. Fred, I know what those girls were trying to do. They are looking for the Silver Knight, and unknowingly to them, they will not find him. I will make sure of it. Master Barkley, you must be careful with these things. You don't want that information getting into the wrong hands. You don't know what that could do to your business, but more importantly, your life. I know, I know. I am doing my best to prevent that from happening. I am happy to know that the city will help with repairing the damages. But this catastrophe made headlines. It seemed as if the criminals were trying to do this as a sort of act to make you look bad on television. They are starting to question if you do more good than bad for the city. This is not good at all, Bruce. Hold that thought. What is it, Bruce? There is this guy standing in the middle of the busy intersection off of Maine. What does he look like? Is he in the right state of mind? It seems that way, but he is wearing some sort of outfit that, well, isn't typical. That's peculiar. Fred, call my in-housing. Request for a room to be freed up. We might have a new guest. <sighs> there you go again, trying to save the world. Cure to violence, crime, and homelessness. Just get it done. Right away, sir. Be careful out there, Bruce. Make wise choices. I always make wise choices.
Get in. Hey, what's your name? My name is Valor. What are you doing standing out here in the middle of the road? I am looking for someone. Who? He is, well, a friend of mine. Okay, well, what does he look like? I, I didn't get your name. My name is Bruce. Bruce Barkley. Well, very nice to meet you, Mr. Bruce. You know, I'm struggling with something here. I'm looking for work, but everyone in the area thus far has no openings for my line of work. I'm really good with numbers, and I find that I might be good in sales, but I don't know who else to ask within the area. Might you be able to help me with that? Well, why stay in this area if there are no jobs? Well, because my friend who I'm trying to find needs me as he's in this very area as well. And uh, I need to take care of him. He won't move. <laughs> he would rather stay here until his last breath. Do you or him not own a phone? And how do you know he is here? You haven't found him. Well, I saw him earlier, but lost him again. <laughs> I can't afford a phone. And the get up, what's with that? This was given to me by my father, stitched by the very hands of an expert craftsman. You know, this situation is very odd, right? You know, if I'm going to help you, I will need to get the full story sooner or later. From what you have given me, which isn't much, I see that you and your friend are just trying to make your way in life right now. You look like you are still young, and you still have a lot more to learn in life. As much as I would like to give you a fresh start, I just don't know much about you. Do you have any paperwork for yourself, you know, to prove you are an American citizen? You said you were good with numbers. What about any audit-related things? If you're talking about anything bank-related, I can tell you that I have learned a great deal about currency and how it flows where I am from. Which is where? It's outside of the state. Broken family? Yeah. All right, let's say a company has made a deposit at its bank by using the night depository box. Let's say the company's account was not credited and the bank denied any responsibility and the company's representative had signed an agreement providing that the use of the night depository facilities shall be at the sole risk of the customer. Would this clause be considered valid? No, the bank cannot excubulate itself from its responsibilities. And that is? To procure safety nets to possibilities of collusive litigations or fraudulent acts. Valor, I just might have something in mind for you. I manage my own bank called Barclay Banking and I am in dire need of a banking custodian. Now not many bank custodians make much starting out, but since you would be working for me, that assumption would be wrong. Come by my office tonight around 9 p.m. and we will get you oriented into the job if you fit the description as well as you describe. Can you do that? Oh yes, I will be there. So I'm assuming you don't have a residence, am I right? Uh, yes sir. We are living quite literally on the streets. How does someone so educated land themselves on the streets? Okay, well, you will then be staying in one of my locations for the week in which you will be able to accumulate enough money working for me so that you can afford to rent out a place for you and your friend. Thank you very much, Mr. Barkley. spiffy in that attire. Oh, thanks, Chloe. I have to be careful. Other women might try to snatch you up. Any chance that we could get something to eat once this is all over to celebrate? Well, you only get your pilot's license once, so let's do it. Okay. Well, it's set. Pass your last test and we will celebrate. Oh, we might have to leave your twin brother home. We don't really get along. <laughs> okay, we will do, honey. Catch you soon. Okay, bye. I'll see you soon. If 
finally decide to get out of the car. Yeah, you know how it is. Well, today's a pretty big day for your brother, and you're being very rude. Yeah, whatever. My brother doesn't like you, by the way. Neither do I, so you should probably leave. Hmm, really? You're very annoying and such a scumbag. Good luck finding someone with your rooster-like hairdo. Where does my brother get these girls? can't walk away. I don't know how you survived that, but you're going to jail, buddy. Don't go anywhere. You will not... Intentional. He wasn't my intended target. Okay, here you are. Just go to the front desk and tell them your name. I have already sent in a notification for you, so all you have to do is tell them your name. They will then lead you to your room. Thank you, Mr. Bruce. And I will see you later tonight for your rather speedy interview. Yes, you will. Oh, how do I get to your office? A limo will be waiting for you at approximately 8.30 p.m. The driver will provide further instructions. You'll get it. See you tonight. See you tonight. Valor? Um, yes, ma'am. I am. Right this way, please. This facility has breakfast, lunch, and dinner at your leisure, and there are many activities that take place during the day. Your room has many amenities and services provided to you at your request. If you have any questions, there is a direct line to your room to the concierge 
which is available 24 7. So here is your room. Do you have any questions for me? Uh, no, ma'am. Everything has already been answered. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Valor. We hope you enjoy your stay. Thank you so much. I think I hear him coming up now. Hey, welcome to the Barkley Agency. I hope you were able to get some sleep. Well, you know how it is. A few hours here, a few hours there, you can never get enough. Well, follow me this way. I will show you your station. You will finally see the specific interface we use here. Okay, this is where you will be working. You have worked with a banking consumer security interface before, right? Um, yes sir. I've seen similar interfaces. Okay, whenever there is a new client, you just have to make sure that you see this here. You click on that icon and it will show all of their information, so click on it. So you will make sure that firstly their personal information such as their name, address, and banking number is all in order. Once that is done, go ahead and secure their info in a new log which you will get from that icon in the top left of the page in Command Save. You will have to start dealing with numbers when these clients start requesting to take money out of the bank, or they request to transfer their money, and so on. Are you understanding? Yes, I am. So, what if they want to close an account? Oh, you would just call the front desk and tell them the account number that is to be closed, and they will notify the background agency who will handle that account from there. Okay, I'm pretty confident I have this now. Okay, and if you have any question, feel free to come by my office to ask me. Alright, thank you. Oh, how, how long would you like me here for the night? You have an hour. After that, go home and get some rest, and I will see you tomorrow at 3 p.m. Don't think every day will be like that. I am only doing 3 p.m. this time so that you can get your rest. Every day following will be promptly at 8 a.m. Thank you. I'll see you then. Be easy on him. Ha uh ha. -huh. I'll try. General Zane, status report. Athena, I lost my weapons bay upon entering Earth's atmosphere. The locator beacon was damaged and doesn't show on any of my scanners. That is okay. We will find a way to send you a replacement. Are you okay? How are you coping with the... environment? It has taken some time to acclimate my respiratory and other biological systems to withstand Earth's atmosphere. That is why you must be careful. Until we alter the rotation speed of the Earth's core, you must watch out for Valor, since he has lived here longer than you, and can adjust to the change in the atmospheric conditions. And that is why you must watch out for him. <sighs> Athena, have you forgotten? I am the general. I trained Valor. I will make him see through my eyes. If he decides not to, I will make him pay for his transgressions. Okay, well, hurry. We have the core reactor, but we cannot activate it until Valor is dealt with. We can't have him destroy this core once it's active. 
It's the last one we have. He was smart to flee here, because all of you could not survive the current atmospheric conditions. He and I are the only Eucryptans to venture out this far and survive Earth's environment. But valor is built on generosity. And that is his weakness. Since he won't come to me, I guess a little destruction will get him out of his cave. Before you go, I am going to provide you a suit that is in its trial stage. You will be the very first to try out the suit, but according to our physicians and technicians, it should help with the atmospheric weakening of the planet on you. Hmm. It's kind of bulky. I'll put it to the test. Thanks for asking. How about yourself? I'm doing good, thanks. Well, Nolan, I wish I could say this to you in person, but I'm not state sad right now. I regret to have to inform you that due to budget restrictions and after analyzing the money we have lost since the last session, we have come to the conclusion of releasing some employees. Now, I know you are one of the hard-working employees, but you are also one of the higher paid. So, we will be letting you go with the possibility of rehire in the future. Go ahead. I, I know it's hard. You're releasing me because of budget cuts? Yes, yeah, th that exactly. You have to be kidding me! I'm the best mechanic in this company. I've taken all of your mess over the years. I, I've been working here for over 10 years and you're going to fire me? Brothers, we haven't even been here for a month? Nolan, please, understand. Since they haven't been here for so long, they don't get paid as much. You know what? Just quit. You know what you're doing is wrong. Fire me for no reason. This, this is ridiculous. You can't fire me without merit. I have a family to feed. Family to take care of and you pull this? As you... Nolan, you will be gone by tomorrow. Don't think of showing your face up here again. If you do, the authorities will be involved. Yeah, oh yeah. You are making a big mistake. Listen. My brother is working at the gas station a few blocks from your location. You can go there and pick up $300, and I will get him back on that. That is the least I You have I to be do. kidding me. $300? Mark, I have a rent to pay for. Medical bills, school bills, car bills. Mark, I am covered in bills, and you're telling me that you can give me $300 for my troubles? That won't even give me coverage for rent alone. You have messed up, and I won't let you mess up my life. Hello? Hi, is this Nolan speaking? How can I help you? Hi, Nolan. This is Officer Randall with the Los Occipital Police Department. I am calling on behalf of your children, Aaron and Melanie. They were hit by a drunk driver while crossing the street from their school. Two other kids were hit as well, and the drunk driver drove away. These were reports given from a witness as we were too late on scene to see who actually did it. Your son and daughter have passed away 
at approximately 3.06 today. You can find them at the Pillbox Hill Medical Center in downtown Occipital. Nolan, I'm very sorry for your loss. I just wanted to give you a call to let you know I'd be around your house a little later this evening uh, to drop over your ramp buggy. Uh, I know we're going to use it for that street derby, but I guess another time. Hey, have a great night, mate. <laughs>
I see you have a new recruit on board. I hope you had a great night's rest. Yeah, I think he will make a fine addition. How's the city looking? Not so good. It seems there's a vigilante stirring up chaos in the city. So far, one gas station has been destroyed, causing two casualties and reports of multiple injuries involved. The vehicle this person is using seems to be a flipper, so yes, if he gets under you, you will go flying. Take the hydroplane. Good idea. I have until 3 p.m. tomorrow. I have time. Switch to headset. I'm going now. Very well, sir. How is the silver blade? Is it ready to run? It was still good from two weeks ago. Just a few minor scratches on some of the side panels is all. I was able to configure a transforming mechanism for your vehicles, so you can take the silver mark, press the green button on your dash and hold on. I've also made some adjustments to the transforming mechanism on your suit, but it seems as if the insignia takes a while to show up. It must be an error in the code I made, but I'll fix it as soon as you return. Some new technology. I like it. Upon surprising you for your birthday, I thought of redoing the skins on your weaponry. Unfortunately, it turns out I ordered the wrong color, so if you are seeing pink weapons in your inventory, I am terribly sorry. No worries, Fred. Patch in the coordinates and inform the police. I am on the way. Alright, Bruce. We're about three clicks away from your destination. Prepare for launch. The Vigilante is going north on State and Lewis. Your drop-off point is on 5th Street, which is between the two roads. Fred has confirmed that he has sent over the coordinates to your Silver Mock. Be safe down there, and good luck.
You've caused a lot of harm. I will give you one more chance to surrender. So I can take you to prison. The world is cruel and unforgiving. I lost my kids and my wife to the world. I am not going to stop now. I will never stop. Bruce. This guy is causing a lot of damage to the city, along with racking up a numerous amount of injuries. You have to put an end to this. Don't forget the bullets in your P-30 pistol are enhanced to override system controls. So if you can successfully shoot one of those rounds on this man's car, it can override his system and shut it down. But it has to be shot onto a major control component. If things get bad, your P-28 has sticky explosive rounds. Thanks, Fred, but he has already made his decision. What do we have here, officer? Well, according to the license plate information, we have here a Mr. Nolan, who is 25 years old and works for a local mod shop. Evidently, he had lost his son and daughter to a drunk hit and run driver while crossing the street from their school one day ago. He lost his wife two years ago to a similar situation. He was released from his job today and we checked his lease. He is losing his living space in three days. And I'm assuming he was done with it all and took matters into his own hands. And how did it end? According to police reports and witnesses, the Silver Knight who called in at around 6 a.m. had presumably detonated Mr. Nolan's vehicle. And there's no body? Why is there no body? There was no body present when the officers had arrived. They had presumed that Mr. Nolan had ran away. And who is this Silver Knight? According to the reports and records in my archive, some of the police force find him as extra help, but others as a vigilante. Thank you, officer. That is all. You are very welcome, Detective Leona. Good morning, Mr. Bruce. Good afternoon. You're here early. No beard today? Yes, sir. No beard today. I uh, decided to get an early start to the day. How was your night? My night was peaceful. How was yours? Peaceful as well. Have you started on the new clientele sheets for 2019? Yes, I have, and they have projected to stay with us for five years at least. Great. Seems like you were getting this all down. Yes, sir. I am doing my best. Great. And how are the living accommodations? They are phenomenal. I really owe you for this. You are already paying your debt by working for me. Well, keep up the good work. We have a lot to do today. Good news today, as the Silver Knight worked closely with the LOPD and the LSPD to eliminate the threat that was storming through Los Occipital, causing harm to the community as of last night. There were hundreds of thousands of dollars of damage that the city must now figure out how to resolve, and if this course of recklessness continues, the city of Los Occipital will be even more in debt. As of two days ago, we were told of the destruction that took place in the Thomas Airfield. We were told that someone was falling out of the sky and started to cause destruction. Here is what one individual had to say about the situation. Yeah, man. It was crazy. 
The guy was wearing like a black suit and a black mask. He flew straight through a plane. As of earlier this morning, there was another lethal high-speed chase. This time, there seemed to be an individual with seemingly superhuman capabilities who stopped the high-speed assailant. But the question is, who is this guy and where did he come from? Is he the same individual that was at the Thomas Airfields a few days ago? Are we really safe here in Los Occipital? And can the Silver Knight keep us safe? I don't know about you, ladies and gentlemen. But we have already incurred a lot of damage upon this city already. And the Silver Knight gets to go home with all of his things intact. This is all for the news this afternoon. We will now bring it on over to the weather with Heather. How are we doing today? I don't get it. I tried calling Barkley yesterday. And when he picked up, it sounded like he was using a modulator. There has got to be something weird going on here. I'm keeping an eye on his assistant right now. Something is off about him. What's off about him? If Bruce hired him on, then he's got to be perfect. He was found looking in the sky in the middle of a major intersection before he was picked up by Barkley. I don't even think Barkley knew I was following him that day. Oh, wow. Then there might be something going on. Also, Barkley's assistant was wearing some suit that was not the typical clothing someone could wear outside of a sci-fi convention. Oh, well... There's only a handful of people that I know would dress up sci-fi like. I mean, it's you and I. People who cosplay. Okay, hold on. He's moving location now. If you think all the way back, the Ecryptans when they visited us. What is he looking for? Where's he going? I'll talk with you later. I'm going to follow him. I'm approaching him now. Enjoying the beautiful day we're having? Oh, yes. It is very beautiful. Oh, really? Where are you coming from? Upstate. Oh, that's nice. I'm coming from upstate as well. Where specifically? You look familiar. What is your name? My name is Leona. Leona. Very nice to meet you, Leona. Nice to meet you as well. Valor. My name is Valor. Valor. Nice to meet you as well, Valor. Well, it was a pleasure meeting you. I have to go now. Good evening, Valor. Oh, hi, Mr. Bruce. Valor, we are building a trust, would you say? Yes, Mr. Bruce. Trust within a business is crucial, but trust between a building friendship is even more paramount, right? Well, depending on your morals of life, I would presume. Right. Well, I am trusting in you as I hope you are in me. I want to know, where were you the first night after you worked in my office for an hour? My records show that you didn't check in until around 3 a.m. that morning, and my front desk camera showed that your clothes were slightly torn. I had gone out around the city. I'm sorry. It's a force of habit. Right. Okay. And what of the clothes? I came across a dog. Are you injured? Do you need to go to the hospital? Oh no. I'm all right. I just need to get some rest. All right. Thank you for your time, Valor. I will be seeing you at 8 a.m. in the morning. That was rather a good meeting my dad held. What do you think, Officer Morgan? 
You are right, Lisa. Your father made some really good points, but there still needs to be a way for us to find out how we can use some of the money gained from taxes to support those who are under the poverty line. I agree. But as governor, my dad have developed agencies that tackle on most of those worries. So that is almost the least of our worries right now. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> you can give more of your opinion. Does the agency not allow your androids to do so? The agency teaches us to stay dedicated to our job, and that is protecting you. Our opinions are not even a factor, ma'am. Who are you? State your name. Okay, let's be calm. Stop where you are or we will use lethal force. I don't mean any harm to anyone. I'm only here to talk. Weapons up. Oh no, let's not do that. You'll only make things worse. Let's just put the guns down. We're only here to talk. Talk, I said. Leave the premises now. This is a private area. If you do not leave, you will be detained. I only want to talk to the governor's daughter. Alerting the LOPD now. Hey you, get in the vehicle now. Please, don't shoot me! Hurry up, get in there! Don't shoot me, I'll go, I'll go! kill all those innocent men? They did nothing. I didn't kill them. I only shot them with paralyzing rounds. They'll be out for about 17 hours at the most. But what about the rounds in the machine gun at the top? Those are real. Only to get people out of the way. Please keep silent. I'm paid to get you to the destination. It causes much chaos along the way. I do what I'm paid to do. Are you trying to get money from my dad? Are you think he's gonna pay for me? What are you trying to do? <sighs> keep quiet. I'm not paid to entertain you.
business. You have a heart, don't you? I'm not gonna say it again. Keep quiet and keep your head down. Fred, hack me the Lisa's earpiece. Lisa. Yes, yes, who is this? Please try and be gone. I'm with LOP and I'm going to save you. Count to five, and on five, jump out of the car. Don't worry, I will handle the rest, I promise. Okay, what's gonna happen? Lisa, Lisa, just please listen to me. On the count of five, open the door and jump out. Oh, okay, one. It's just weird. All of the events that are taking place, crime keeps rising. But of lately, that person who fell out of the sky, who caused all of that chaos, that is what is getting me. Most of all, how peculiar it is that my new employee had a suit that kind of looked like that of the person who fell from the sky. Have you questioned him about it? Yes, I have. That's the thing. He told me that he was in the city at the time and had no involvement in anything unusual. Fred, I want to catch him, whoever it is, because if I don't, this city will become a death hole. All of the destruction that is being caused. I am tired of it. This all needs to stop, and I will be the one to do it. I will take every last one of them if I have to. I will take control of the government lacks the skill to do so themselves. A man who seeks revenge is cruel. But a man who seeks power is vicious. What kind of man do you want to be? Valor better not be some piece in this puzzle. I'm the general of Eucryptus. Stand down, and I might spare your lives. 
All I wanted was this place, this planet. be sacrificed for the cause of survival. How many? You can't destroy me. Let's get it on. witnessed all this destruction I've committed decides to drive up to me you're going to pay for your ignorance insolence Welcome home, Valor. Glad I found you. An 
our world, disobeying a general, that's treason. Destroying a city, that's treason on this planet. Zane, stop this. This is not our planet. Leave this place and never return. You're wrong. The spoils go to the strongest. You were the one who destroyed our world. You made it happen. So live with it. I am the general. I make and give the orders. And you follow them. Got some skill, kid. There's only one way this is gonna end. One of us is gonna die. And it's gonna be you. Because I'm more experienced. I failed you, Valor, by not completing your training. I've come here only to seek your allegiance. But you've sided with feeble humans. So now, you must die. Listen to me! You don't have to! Conversation's over. You've chosen your side. Now deal with the consequences. Assistance in Los Occipital. 
They say that they are unable to apprehend or even take down this man who is terrorizing the city. The department says that there is another man who looks to be fighting this guy, but they want to apprehend him as well, since they both are destroying the city, and we don't know what else this man can do. Hmm. Did that come from Chief Kramer? No, sir. Chief Kramer died fighting this man. That was what the department told me. All right. Send out order 878. Collect all available military personnel in Sector 5. Scramble the helicopters. We'll see how strong these men really are. Right away, sir. We will alert you when the extraction point has been confirmed. My name is Leona of Locus Pacificae, and I'm here to put an end to your destruction. <laughs> you are just too cute. How can I hate you? Tell you what, turn around, walk away, and I'll spare your life. For now. These people have done you no wrong, but you still take their lives. You must be stopped. Stop? <laughs> You're a child. I have given you enough warning. Now, you must learn from experience. Come on! Come on! You're all big and bad. Dare to challenge me? That's right. Stand back up so I can finish you off. When I do valor, I will destroy you, no matter what. You cannot run, you cannot hide. I will find you! Thank you. You have 
have to get out of here. If you stay here, the police will detain you. You don't want any part of that. You can't stay here either. Someone has to stay. I, I know you. Go, now. It was you all along. I trusted you, but now I see I can trust no one. You will be locked up and dissected. You didn't know I used to be a chief officer. This is not the last you will see of me. Deactivate it now. The modulator that was designed for me failed against Fowler because of you! Zane, I am sorry. I thought the suit would perform better than it did. Zane, you can beat him. We know you can. Athena, I don't need your comfort. I know I can destroy him. And so I shall. We will be waiting for your soon return. Call on mission control. We have the cargo. Clear out section one. We'll be landing in that bay. Get the hazmat team ready upon landing. This mission is now Code Lima. I repeat, Code Lima. Let me get this straight. You done travel clean across the cosmos to this little blue dock just to tie it up? Hmm. You weren't having a problem taking out them innocent lives. And for some reason, you done forgotten how to speak. No, I was protecting the people. I was protecting you from the man who wants to decimate- Protect? Protect? There's over 172 casualties confirmed and count from this event alone. Protecting. That word must mean something completely different on your planet. Oh yeah, we know all about you. You came from space. We've been studying a little planet not far outside of our solar system that we suspected had life. Must be you. Oh yeah. And when you entered Earth's atmosphere, your weapons bay must have got away from you. Hey, don't worry, we got it locked down safe and secure on this base where nobody could get to it, not even you. Listen to me. You must return those weapons to me. They cannot be in the wrong uh, hands. Uh, uh, uh. You might want to be careful there, boy. I notice you're looking a little weak. Probably because that cage is made out of that new space age technology. Didn't think we had the technology, huh? Well, 
thanks to some old mutants we captured long ago, we got a chance to test out their biology and supernatural powers. It just seems so trivial that they couldn't get out of the cage. So this is the best product we could produce for you. Hope you like it. Hey, guard. Yes, sir. Keep your eye on him. I'll deal with him when I get back. Yes, sir. Sir, you're bleeding a lot. Would you like to be taken to Med Bay? In farm already? No. All I'm thinking about right now is opening a can of get right on that boy that injured me. I'm gonna make him pay. All I need is a couple of minutes to go ahead and get myself together. Six crates have not been opened. Checking the west roadway now. Oh, nope. All clear. that boy and get that weapons part out to Fort Kate. Do it. Do it now. Right away, sir. Jumping Jehoes of fact. Look like, look like the 4th of July. Oh, World War III. Hold on. The front door. 
You causing all this destruction? Oh my! Oh, no, no! Stop your run! Stop! Or I will put a bullet in your head! Oh no! Not my base! Not today! Tell me. Tell you what? Tell me where the weapons are that belong to Valor. They do not belong to you. I ain't telling you a cut-picking thing. But I will give you a bullet. Not what I want to hear. Right up your boo hickey. Away. You have forced me to do this. Let's go, we have much to talk about. This will be test number one. Silver Knight over and out. In transmission. Thank you for saving me back there. It was no problem. Who are you? You said you knew me. Where have we met before? I am Leona, 
I am currently a private investigator slash lawyer. You and I met many years ago when I was born here on earth in a place called Locus Pacifica. It was a beautiful place where there were no war, no pain, no men. Everyone lived peacefully together. It wasn't until a few years later when I met you. I guess you were on some military expedition across the galaxy with a mm, many you call general. I remember you coming up to me to tell me how beautiful my hair was and how kind-hearted my soul was. I will never forget your name, Valor. You and I didn't talk very long since you had to leave for another planet a few days later. I'm remembering now. You were that headstrong young woman that showed me around the place. Yes. So what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be back in your community? I'm sure they're missing you terribly. Well, after you left, 938 years of peace passed, and rage, power, and greed started to consume my people, and the lust for power started to grow in one another. It wasn't until then when me and about six other women decide to leave to start over. My mom wasn't happy with the decision. But I knew if I stayed, I would be sucked into chaos. So we left. My mother stayed. I led the family of women and we sailed through unforgiven seas for 30 days, trying to find land that was fertile and strong, a place where we could build our new society, a new home. We thought we had it rough in our own little world, but outside our world was even worse. Men were fighting and killing one another in a war men called World War I. But we stayed numb to the outside world, and once we found a perfect piece of land, we docked and started to build. Some of us trained in combat, but we never finished our schooling. So we taught one another. We harnessed the information we had collected from our ancestors, passed down through the generations. After months of training, our skills got better and better until we were able to have the strength of our ancestors. We were mighty heroes, never backing down from a just fight, but never seeking confrontation. We build our morals on wisdom. We seek to protect others from wrongdoing. 
and we seek to protect ourselves from outside unwelcome forces. It wasn't until that day came, the day we all hoped would never come. When the men of the outside world found our community, when they did, we went to war. In the end, they captured some of us for dissection and the rest of us fled. The ones who were captured and dissected were used to help men figure out our strength and weaknesses so they could find a way to trap us without a fight. That same trap was used against you today. And evidently, since you were weakened by it, your colony and mines must have some genetics in common. But I fled here to seek justice, and I find that by working as a private investigator. You know, sometimes I ask myself, why is it that I fight for these people? People who are selfish, greedy, and are cold-hearted. But I answer that by understanding that me and my people are no different. I'm sorry to hear about your past, but I know you are on the right track to justice. With what I'm about to say, you will probably dismiss, but you have to listen to me as this is the only way you're going to save these people. You must go back to Bruce and seek his help. Seek his help? Why? He's only but an ex-police chief officer. He wouldn't stand a chance against Zane. He wouldn't even give me the time of day after what I've done to him. You haven't connected the dots yet? He is the Silver Knight. This whole time he's been the Silver Knight. This doesn't make any sense. It's... Valor, listen to me. This has to be done. You need his help to stop Zane. Why? You and I can take down Zane together. Because Valor, I'm not going to be here any longer. I must go back to my homeland. My mother sent out a distress signal, alerting all Varagos to come back to the homeland. A portal has opened up there, and we are the first line of defense. I have to assume my duty there. You have to assume yours here. Go and seek an alliance with the Silver Knight, Valor. This is your only chance of coming on top. Ever since I've been on this planet, I started reading what I have come to find out is the Book of Life, or as humans say, the Bible. Exodus 21, 12 through 25 speaks to our situation right now. This is what I fight with every day. I guess that's a problem. I fight with it. Bruce and I are beings who want peace for our people. And I know that if fighting wasn't an option, we would both be living very different lives. I remember hearing about that verse. Is God violent? Love originated from God, and so it was. From what I read, He seeks peace and kindness. We are quick to judge when we haven't even stepped back to see how we would feel if we made existence and our beings turned against us. So he's real? All I know is, I am here. Our origin of life, and I mean where it all began, is stated. 
in this Bible. I don't know about you, but I am choosing to believe it. Is God real? Well, take a look around. We have to go. Stay safe and we will meet again. Soon. It is ours now, and your kind will learn to accept it. We will not coexist. We will survive and thrive on this planet as your kind diminish without a thought or even a memory of existence. If you haven't found out, we are superior to you in every way. You have made your last order. You are nothing. You are a worthless being. Your time here is done. You are stepping up to me? I guess you're the first to go. What is this? Okay, Silver Knight. Thank you for your help. We'll, we'll take it from here. This body belongs to the LSPD. You, you can... You can vacate the area. You may leave. He is mine. Fred, get the cage repaired. I've got one of them down. One more to go. I guess there's no better time.
I'm not here to fight you. I'm here to ask you for your help. Silence. You've killed all those people and for what? To cause terror? To make us bow down to you? No. No, you're wrong. I didn't mean to harm anyone. I've seen the destruction that Zane has done to my world. To its environment. That very same guy is destroying your city now. He's here to do the same to your world. And I'm here to stop You know nothing of what you've done. If you did, you would see the errors in your ways. You're wrong. I have seen what I have done. I have seen what you've done. I've seen what Zane has done. I am not immune to the pain of loss. I still feel that pain. You're no better. I've seen you. I strive to protect others. While you killed to protect them. I do not kill innocent people like you If I wasn't here, you wouldn't have innocent people to save. Zane would have just torn this world to shreds. But it's because of me why your world is still together. Why you are still here breathing. Now, I've come here to- I know why you have come here. You've come only to take your friends so that you two can cause more destruction. No. You're blind to what you must see. Look in front of you. See who really is the enemy here. I need your help, Silver Knight. Zane is a very powerful man, and I can't take him alone. I already captured him. I've done what you have failed to do. You, who is supposed to be stronger than any of us. And you failed. Now you've come to seek revenge to destroy the very last resistance that is here left on Earth. I won't let that happen. I have tried. I have tried to prevent you from doing this. But if you're not going to help me to save your world, and you're trying to stop me, then I will go through you to do it myself. You can try, but you won't succeed.
You are at two percent. Bruce, I'm sorry. I understand. I need to take you to the hospital. No, you cannot do that. Take this grenade. It's made out of your weaponized material and use it against Zane. Thank you. Valor, I just want to say, with all that you have done for us, thank you. It's no problem. You and I want the same for our people. And we you would do anything chose to join us, but you chose the humans instead of your own kind. That is why you will fall. It all ends here, Valor. You were given the chance to take my place. Now you will never get that chance. That was smart for you to use the weapon against me. You didn't think you would win against Valor. <laughs> I just had to wait it out. Now I only have one to deal with. Don't do this. No. You are very weak now. Why would I stop? Goodbye, Valor.
First time I could say, I am scared. I can't move my body, but I can feel the pain. You have raised me to be kind to others, to protect them when they can't protect themselves. But now I see that I can't, and as I'm falling to my end, my last thoughts are of you two. some friends here on earth that I hope I can come back and see them again. If God sees it, I will. They are brave souls, very brave, and I would be honored to fight alongside them. See them again. I wish them the best. I love you, Mom and Dad.
Get away from the edge! There's a lot of chemicals that can kill you down there! Show. 